Trinity is led by University of Louisville signee David Johnson, who is averaging 16-7 and seven this year. But the stakes are the highest today for John Harden. The Bulldogs are 35-0 and 0 coming into the Sweet 16, and the Courier reports that makes them the first team in 30 years to make it here undefeated. Now, the tournament runs today through Sunday here at Rump Arena, and if you want to catch the highlights later on this evening, tune in to ABC 36 Sports. For now, I'm live in Lexington this morning. Travis Harden-Smith, ABC 36 News. Well, today is the big day for Solid Blue fans as the Cats prepare to face off against Houston in the Sweet 16. The college basketball experience lives here in Kansas City, Missouri, but this weekend's experience is a little different for Kentucky. Several schools have been to the dance before, but Abilene Christian hasn't. This is actually the first time that they've ever been to the NCAA tournament in the school's history. Well, everyone out there knows that Kentucky has been to the NCAA tournament on multiple occasions. The college basketball experience is more than just the history of college hoops. I mean, we're talking Hall of Fame coaches, players, the list goes on. Without star forward P.J. Washington, Kentucky's offensive shoes become bigger to fill. But just how difficult is it to fill the offensive shoes of an All-American that's been a vital part of your offense? Well, it's so exciting. It's a huge shot. That's the feeling Richard Blair experienced when Kentucky guard Tyler Hero let it rain from downtown. But there's more excitement where that came from. I've actually been a fan of Kentucky basketball pretty well all my life. Richard Johnson came to the Sweet 16 in decorative fashion, wearing an outfit that most solid blue fans wouldn't think of, a tie with beads and even Kentucky pajama pants. He's not only dressed in blue, but he's dressed in blue from head to toe. I asked him about the Sweet 16, and out of all the solid blue fans I spoke with, Johnson has a different perspective. My wife and I went to school in Lexington. We graduated, um, lived there in Lexington for eight years, uh, but then moved out to Colorado in 2004. For Corey Stearman, that was 15 years ago, and now he's here in the Music City rooting for Kentucky in the Sweet 16. With 24 hours left until game time, Stearman is ready for the opening tip. I'm not originally from Lexington, but I've been a fan for 40 years. Four decades of Kentucky basketball tradition for Mike Williams, and now he's here for tonight's Sweet 16 against Houston. P.J. Washington's injury status is still a concern within the Cats fan base, but not for Williams. This is the official Hall of Fame for men's college basketball. From the initial point of walking through these doors, you'll notice history and glory. Some call this experience the history and glory of college hoops. But history and college hoops is just one part of the college basketball experience. It's not your typical experience like a museum. It's the ultimate fan experience, according to sales marketing and events director Celeste Lupercio. So it's only located in Kansas City. And in addition to being a Hall of Fame, we are an attraction. So there are over 20 dynamic interactive exhibits that you can engage in. She's referring to areas that you see here where families and kids can show off their basketball skills playing five on five pickup or with these interactive games and even practice their broadcasting skills at this ESPNU desk. And all of the equipment is authentic regulation. So, uh, you know, it's, it's you very much get to experience what it's like to be a college basketball player when you come in here, whether or not you want to take advantage of the full size basketball court, maybe catch a pickup game or if you want to just use the exhibits, we'll, we'll show you how to dribble, we'll show you how to pass um, and then all throughout the building. There's education on the history of the game. One part of this building is this hallway you see here known as the Guardians of Glory. All through here you can see historical college basketball moments of some of the best players and coaches that ever played and coached the game. Lupercio says fans also travel internationally to get a taste of college hoops history. We get so much traffic from people who are visiting Kansas City for business or also for pleasure. And um, definitely we, we love to track down where people are coming from. And it's, it's fun to see basketball fans are like Australia loves basketball, which who knew? Whether or not you're traveling internationally, college basketball fans can find history here at the National College Basketball Hall of Fame. Reporting in Kansas City, Travis Harmon Smith, ABC 36 News. A season that went from promising to amazing has now come to an end. Kentucky lost a close 77-71 to battle to Auburn in overtime in the Elite Eight as Solid Blue fans stood outside the lobby here at the Sprint Center watching the final seconds. Despite the loss, Solid Blue fans say they're still proud of what the Cats accomplished this season. Oh, I'm just so happy to be a Cat fan. They have played so great this year. I went to the Classic at the beginning of the year and I just didn't believe that this type of season was possible. And then we come and make it all the way to the Elite Eight. Yes, we lost today. We love our cats anyway. Go cat. Some were disappointed, some even heartbroken, but Solid Blue fans say it's not about being disappointed. It's about being committed to Kentucky basketball for years to come. I'm quite heartbroken, but I th as you say, they had a great season. After that loss to Duke early, I didn't expect a lot of things out of this team, but they showed that they were a great team. 
and made it all the way to the lead eight. And I'm proud of them and their effort. And with the season coming to an end, Solid Blue fans hope that a few players from Coach Calipari's lineup will return next season. Hopefully they all stick around. I'd love to see P.J. come back, but I have a feeling P.J. is going to be gone. Uh, but the rest of the team, hope they come back. We have a great class coming in next year. Reporting in Kansas City, Travis Harmon-Smith, ABC 36 News.